uh, with the adoption of newer and newer technology when you look back 25 30 years back it was only the conventional open surgery which most of the surgeons were doing so that time when laparoscopy came into the market there was resistance both from the surgeon side and also from the patient side to accept laparoscopy so they had three problems one is how can it be done with miniature incisions when the traditional conventional lapros uh, surgery is done with very large incisions and second thing is whether the human hand can be replaced by laparoscopic instruments and the third thing is the 3d vision whether the tissue dissection and surgical procedure is complete and adequate so these are the three problems which uh, when laparoscopy came into the market many surgeons had doubts about this but in spite of all this with advanced laparoscopic techniques all these uh, things have been improvi improvised uh, but not achieved completely so that is where robotics come into the picture in robotics the disadvantages or the limitations which we see in the laparoscopy are overcome by the advances which are there in robotic technology so in robotics we have the same miniature incisions the second thing is the human hand so in robotics that is we call it as endo wrist arms so these endo wrist arms have almost the range of motion as we see with the normal human hand so these almost replace the human hand and the third thing is the 3d vision which was not there before in laparoscopic surgeries and the another thing advantage with the robotic technology is the magnification which we see in robotics is more than what we see in the laparoscopic surgeries so these are the advantages and differences which we see uh, when we compare laparoscopy and with robotic surgical systems thank you